Hello YouTube, how everyone doing? Yeah, I would like to talk about, um, it's a very, very sad situation that happened to this little girl. I haven't found many videos on this little girl. <clears throat> I haven't found many videos of this little girl. I think they say that she was about six years old. Now, what happened was... Her mother and father was in jail. And the grandmother's friend, the grandmother's friend, she had um, asked a friend of hers to um, take her grandchild in. Her name was, um, well, her last name, Brown. I believe that's what it said her name was. Brown. Anyways. So she took the little girl in. She took care of the little girl. She was 70 something years old. And she took the little girl in. Loved the little girl. Then the mother gets out of jail. The woman have the young woman has her daughter in jail. And then she gets out of jail. And she just starts visiting her daughter. Instead of her just visiting and just leaving that baby alone. No. Did she? Oh, no. She tells the lady that she wants to take her to a family reunion. She take her to a family reunion. Or what that what she says. But she, the, the seven-year-old woman never sees the baby again. And which I think that's fucked up. She had good faith that this woman thought this one would not hurt this baby but she did hurt this baby and not only she hurt this baby it was i seen only bits and pieces of other people's videos about it but i want to find the videos and as soon as i find the videos of the mother saying what she said and the boyfriend saying what he said i'm gonna get them and i'm gonna i'm gonna put them together but anyways i'm like what they said was she he said that he had Told her to go to mother. Told her to go to bed. She claiming she went to the shower, and she claiming that the when she came out of the shower, she seen her daughter standing up on the bed or something, and the dude gets mad and kicks the little girl in the head, and she falls to the ground, and he says something about it took her two days to die. Now it took her two days to die. Not to mention, his daughter also was there, too. So, with that being said, I'm like, what the fuck? Then, they goes to a suppose of her body. And when policemen find her body, well, first, they was looking for an old elderly guy. Because the old elderly guy was missing. And, but he, they found him. But before they left the park, they found... The um, remains of the little girl. But it was just her body is one place. And then her head was in another area. And I mean that's just kind of fucked up man. And other YouTubers that I've seen. Spoke about it. They didn't give it no fucking justice. And I'm like. Damn. They just like they just. just the way they look. They like they just reading off a script or whatever. And me, I'm like, dang, that's like no feeling or whatever. I like to listen to people that, that go in great detail and things like that. And I like them in their voice. They have feeling in their voice. But that other YouTuber, she's this. it just didn't seem like she had feeling in her voice. I'm like, damn. At first, and not to mention, this woman, she had... Eight kids. Eight kids. So she goes and get the youngest child. And want to play mommy. And then lets this guy. After this guy. Her boyfriend kills her baby. She goes on. And dispose of her body. Like she was nothing. The fuck wrong with people. Then. They going that merry way like this is that every goddamn day thing. I don't give a fuck if they on drugs. I don't give a fuck if they had issues. I don't give a fuck. If you didn't want your child and you, you didn't give a damn like that, you shouldn't have took that baby from where she was and she was fucking happy. This made no damn sense. So, 
she takes it. Then the lady keeps asking her where the baby at, where the baby. All her people asking where the baby at, where the baby. She ain't saying nothing. She keeps lying and and changing the subject and changing different people that had the baby and they ain't even seen the baby. Now, on top of that, why that's going on? Authorities cannot. I show that it have the pictures. The sketches and the molds and stuff like that. They're trying to figure out who this baby is. And they call, they was calling her Precious Doe. But her name was, uh, something totally different in that. So I'm going to have it like, her name then, aka Precious Doe. So, they just, it took them four years to identify the baby because the boyfriend said, Hey, that looked like that's my son's wife daughter. So not only she went along and like it was nothing, she running up she marries the nigga. The same nigga that killed her fucking daughter. She marries him. And, like, it's just nothing. And I'm like, in some cases where these other, it's better when other family members get your kids, not DSS. Some people find, some kids find good homes and foster parents, and some don't. And to me, it seems like it's more that doesn't find good foster homes than ones that does. And in this case, she found a good home and what her mother couldn't stand it and took her from it some fucked up shit it took four fucking years that's a long fucking time to, for a child to get justice when these people out here are hurting these kids and these people are seeing it and they ain't saying nothing they just as guilty just as guilty I mean, just like the Cupcake Camille uh, situation. All these people was calling in saying, oh, they seen this here, they seen her there, or this person, or this person. And you sitting there lying to the cops, you deserve to go to jail just as bad as the person killer. Because if you know about it and you seen it and you heard about it, are you fucking trying to lie to the cops for that person? you just as guilty. But... I'm going to let you go because I need to find that video. I've been looking for it. I can't find a, a news coverage. I'm trying to find a news coverage and I can't find it. I mean, like, what did it do? Bury this shit? It's pissing me off. Hold on. You ain't getting that hot. All right. Like, subscribe. Yeah, have a good one. Sorry about that. That was my four-year-old. My four-year-old always be hot. But my six-year-old, she always be cold. She be wearing damn sweaters and shit. The other one, she can walk around with damn shorts on. I'm like, man. So one takes after the mom and the one takes after the daddy. And I be cold all the time. Her daddy always be fucking hot. <laughs> yeah, have a good one.